Hey, welcome back to the Psy Goggle and Jack channel. So if you're brand new to watches, maybe you're going to start your watch collection now, what watch should you start with? I would say the Casio F91. Not because it's a great watch. It's not a great watch. <laughs> and not because it's really a good watch. I mean, it's a good watch. It's adequate. But because you're going to end up with one anyway. You may end up with several. Uh, you're going to get curious as to what all the talk is about and why everybody says it's a great watch and it's an iconic watch. Uh, and you're going to buy one anyway. So go ahead and, and bite the bullet and go ahead and get one as your first watch. Uh, it'll cost you about $15. And if you paid $20, you've paid too much. It's a really good watch, but it's not great. Uh, it's adequate. It's a great beater watch. It is an iconic watch. I think it came out in 91. I believe that's where the 91 comes from. So it's uh, 30, what's that make it? 32 years old now. And it's basically unchanged over all that time. Uh, it's popular among terrorists. <laughs> I think they uh, have used it to set off bombs before. Uh, there's a famous photograph of Osama bin Laden wearing this watch, not this watch, but a watch just like this one. Also, um, a picture of Barack Obama wearing this watch. Well, not this watch, but one just like it. Uh, so it is iconic and it's pretty durable uh, and it's pretty feature rich for what it is. It has uh, a timer, has alarms, has an hourly chime. The website says it is um, water resistant to 30 meters. So, you know, you can get it wet. You could probably even shower with it. Uh, do dishes, uh, maybe wash your car. It's a great beater watch. So mowing grass, uh, doing the chores, anything like that. Anything that you are afraid that you would uh, destroy a watch, if you destroy this one, uh, you can go get another one. It has a screw down back. It uses a CR2016 battery. And it boasts a seven year battery life. And I believe I've had this watch for 10 years and it's still on the same battery. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the battery is gonna go dead. And I never use the light because the light is pretty useless anyway. Uh, let's see, let me turn off some of these lights. So the light uh, just lights up just a little bit from the side. And uh, when it's pitch black outside, you can tell the time with it, which is all you really need to do. Let's look at it on the wrist. Here it is on my six inch wrist. So it's great for a small wrist. It's a small watch. It's very thin, it's very lightweight. Uh, you'll forget that you've got it on. The band to be so cheap, this resin material is very tough. I think this is the second or third one of these that I've owned over the years. And it's kind of a, uh, a staple of a lot of watch people. Uh, not sure why, uh, but it has uh, become just kind of a, an iconic watch. Just something that everybody's got one in their collection. And uh, I use mine, I wear mine uh, when I am doing my, my chores outside. Definitely when I'm mowing grass, weed eating, anything that I will probably get another watch scratched up. Also, it's got a good timer on it. So if you want the timer for running or anything like that, this make a great running watch because it weighs nothing. Uh, so the stopwatch feature is really good. The strap, if you wanted to change it out, uh, has push pins. 
and this arrow would tell you which direction to push the pin out with. Um, so you could change it out, uh, put it on a NATO strap, but really I, the NATO strap would probably cost more than the watch. So I don't think I would do that, but you could if you wanted to. You want to dress it up or try to dress it up. It's uh, not a very attractive looking watch, but it does have a retro vibe to it. Kind of a Napoleon Dynamite kind of vibe to it. And that may be the appeal for a lot of people. I like it just because it's a great beater and you're going to need a beater anyway. So if you're just starting your watch collection, uh, this would not be a bad place to start. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. And those of you who have subscribed, I really appreciate that too. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.